Hey, Gallivanters. Hey, y'all. Melinda and Tracy here, and we really quickly wanted to go through our list of top apps for travel. We use these quite a bit and found them very useful in our travels. Uh, some of them I had no idea what they were. You know, she's my researcher, so she's like, hey, we need this app. Okay. Yep. But now that we've used them, we want to show you a little bit of what we use and how they work and maybe they'll help you. So, here we go. Let's, uh, we're going to focus on my phone here so we can show them to you. Okay guys, so we are looking at my phone and just going to kind of run through these. Sky Scanner. Um, so this app is great for finding airfare. You can do everything on it, but airfare is probably the the biggest use uh, for it and we, we you know, you're able to find some pretty good prices and all your available flights on it. Uh, this one, this is, this is actually a, a white noise maker that we use. I'm not going to uh, log into it, but we use it uh, just, you know, it just helps block out sound whenever you're in an unfamiliar place. Kind of helps you get some sleep. Google Translate, um, hopefully most of you guys are familiar with it. All right now I've got it set to German to English, but you can pick whatever language you want. Uh, you can take pictures with it. We used it a bunch for menus and that sort yes. of thing. Um, and we've used it where you can talk into it and then it'll, um, you know, translate it so that you can hand it to like an Uber driver or taxi driver or whatever you need to uh, get the information you need. Netflix, of course, it's kind of self-explanatory. Obviously, if you get some downtime and are able to download some movies or a show, you can binge watch on that. Trip it. We use this a lot. You can see it's got our travel in here, our upcoming travel. We can keep all of our itineraries for flights, trains, hotels, everything in one place and on the desktop, uh, if you log in on the desktop, you can actually print it out or add notes to it or do whatever you want. So we use that all the time. And it helps because you can add me as a user. Mm -hmm. Is that what you had to do? Yes. And I can see our whole itinerary also. Yes. So it's, both of us have it. And then the next one is TripAdvisor, which obviously you guys should be pretty familiar with it. but. You can look up reviews for hotels, restaurants. Um, you, you can find out what kind of tours are available in the area. Uh, this is set to Berlin, so kind of, you know, top sites, top places to eat. Uh, we use that to get an idea of, you know, different kind of tours or, or things that we might want to do in a, in a specific area. And we use it to look up um, places to eat as well. The Weather Channel, that's pretty obvious. Um, you know, kind of want to know what's going on every, if you're going from place to place, what the weather's going to be like. City Mapper, um, I, I switch back and forth between this one and, and another app I'm going to show you in just a minute. But City Mapper tells you if you type in a location, you know, where you are and where to get to. I think this is maybe set for Berlin. Yeah, it is. This is set for Berlin right now. Um, you can put in where you want to go and it tells you all the various routes you can take to get there whether it's a bus tram subway walking it just gives you the best route for that um, and it's available in most major cities anyway Google Maps obviously another obvious one um, most of you are probably aware you can download offline maps. So even if you don't have service uh, international plan, you can you know take a particular area and download it so that you have that available even when you're not on uh, the cellular network, which has made it really nice, particularly for smaller areas where some of these other apps may not work. Uh, Rome to Rio, I use that quite a bit traveling city to city uh, it gives you a lot of different options you can see some of the searches I've done in here recently um, you know what's what's the best way to get from Madrid to Paris or London to Berlin and it gives you all the different options 
um, whether it's train or plane or driving, um, it just it's just been great to, to kind of figure out, okay, how long is it going to take us to get from here to here? WhatsApp. WhatsApp allows you to do some um, texting and phone calls basically over the internet so you're not burning any minutes for international text and data. Uh, it's just basically a Wi-Fi communication app, but it's, it's worked great. Um, and I've used it like to contact hosts when we've rented apartments and stuff so that I'm not charged that international texting fee. I'm not going to open that, obviously, but that is our bank. Um, so your bank app so that you can be in contact with your bank if you need to be is great. Wi-Fi Finder, it um, looks for, you know, Wi-Fi's that may be, um, may be available in your area it'll you can go in and you can put in whatever city you want and it'll it'll show you all the the wi-fi spots in a particular area it takes a minute to load here but um we love it because that way you can um really check out um you know you want to go to a coffee shop and you need to get some work done check email whatever uh, it helps you figure out who's got some free wi-fi in that area Currency converter uh, come in really, really handy. You can see we've already got quite a bit of stuff for places that we have traveled or are traveling loaded. Uh, but just a, a real quick way to figure out, um, you know, what you what the, what the conversion rate is, and make sure that you're not getting maybe ripped off or you know, because it can happen. It, it can happen. It definitely can happen. It has happened to us. So. We use this a lot and it makes it makes it easy to, to know exactly what you're paying. And then finally, this app is called Metro and it's, it's got another Berlin one in it. Uh, it tells you um, what line to take and where to get off and so forth. Uh, so this is just specific to the metros or the subways and it's in almost every major city uh in the world and it's it's really nice because you know I, I don't know about you guys but we have certainly been in larger subway stations and you know had to stop and look at the map more than once to make sure we were getting on the right line and, and which way we were going so that's it i don't want to make this too long but that is our top 15 apps that we use for travel so we would love to hear from you guys what apps you guys use um, what we missed what else we should add to our list yeah just let us know yeah absolutely we'd love to get your comments if you like this video please hit the like button make sure you hit subscribe hit the notification button so you'll know uh, when we upload new videos and I guess if you want more information, our blog yep. at gallivantgals.com. Yep, we will have uh, all of these linked in our blog, so you can you can have the list there and go check them out for yourself. Until then, live your best life. See ya. Bye, y'all.